How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. I'd like to say thank you very much for Saturday night. I went live. What a great night. Thank you all very much um, for watching. I do appreciate it. And the super chat, super thanks. I do, I do appreciate it all. I had a great night. I took the video off because I was a little bit drunk at the end. <laughs> uh, and I didn't, yeah say no more on that so thank you what a great night it was just a spontaneous thing i didn't plan on it i just 10 minutes before i thought oh, i'll go live great night anyway let's get back to the review um i've been shopping i've been to aldi come and have a look what i got and here it is uh, specially selected i'm new i noticed i have to get it Sweet and smoky chipotle chicken and potato wedges. Marinated chicken in a smoky tomato and red pepper sauce topped with roasted uh, piccolo, is it? Piccolo peppers served with paprika potato wedges. Serves two, I notice. Um, a little traffic light system there for the nutrition. And there is the serving suggestion. Ooh, serves two. This was four pounds and 99 pence, so two and a half quid a meal. So let's take a look at the packaging. We've had a quick look at the front. Um, let's um, sort of go around the back. Well, what I'll do, I'll get the bits and bobs out first and we'll have a look. Ooh, look at that, chipotle chicken. Um, and there's your wedges. Serves two, serves two with other things I would imagine. Yeah, or one. If you're hungry. Anyway, it's a bit low, isn't it? Why can't it be fuller than that? That's just me. So let, let, it comes in two compartments, look, and I would imagine you'd be able to recycle this. It does say that there. Recycle. 800 grams, so 400 grams a meal. There is some more nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that in more detail, please go ahead. So there's some spiel at the top there. It says cooked marinated chicken in a smoky tomato, red pepper and sweet corn sauce. Sweet corn sauce. I don't think I've ever had that. With paprika potato wedges. Mm. I do like chipotle though. I've got some chilli um, in the fridge. I got some sent to me. It's really nice if you've never had it before. It's tasty. It really is. So I've got high hopes for this dish. They are the ingredients there, all of them, and any allergens in there. Um, one in every effort has been made to remove bones. Some small bones may remain. I do not see any allergens in there. That is a first, an absolute first for allergens. Normally they're in bold and capital. Um, so we've got wedges, 45%. Cooked marinated chicken. 18% chicken breast. Uh, all them other ingredients to make the dish. Directions for use. All appliances vary. They do, don't they? They all, they all vary. They give you guidelines. Fan 170, 35 minutes. Electric 190, 35 minutes. And gas 5. Guess what? 35 minutes. Paper from Responsible Sources, a GB sticker there. Right, I think we've covered everything. Let's just get, let's get it cooking. So we've got to do the peel seal test, these wedges. They've got to come out of here and place them on a baking tray. So let's have a look, see if this works. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely fantastic that has worked. Um, so I've got my tray. So what you do, you bake these. I've put a bit of parchment paper down as well because I don't want them sticking. Um, and now these go in for 20 minutes. I will um, spread them out a bit more evenly. Uh, sorry, 15 minutes they go in. After 15 minutes, you to remove the, the film lid and place these beside. And these go in for 20 minutes. Thus making 35 minutes. So I've got the sauce there. It's Frank's Red Hot Smoked Chipotle. Now this was a gift sent to me. Thank you very much. I got a selection of them in a, a gift set and they were all different ones from Frank's. So yeah, same colour look. It's a bit sort of darker than that one, more, more of a reddy colour. Um, yeah, it says turf too. I mean, mm, yeah, maybe for a starter. It does also say there, um, not suitable for freezing. Produ produced using British chicken. 
Oh, they're really good at golf. So there's a couple of minutes to go before I put this in, but we need to get this um, the seal peel test. So let's see if we can get this off okay. The other one came off great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely passed. 100%. Well, that's off. We'll just take a quick look at this and the chicken. Um, so there's a big bit of chicken there. There's two bits there. I'll sort of separate them bits. Got a bit of chicken there. There's two bits there as well. I'll separate them. And uh, what we got here? Oh, there's two bits there. They stuck this chicken on top. Oh, there's, there's more chicken there. So yeah, so the, first looking at it, I thought, oh, there's not a lot in there, but there is quite a bit of chicken. Which is good, well it's for two people isn't it, so that's what you want. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Chipotle. Uh, it's a Chipotle chicken and wedges. Um, a Chipotle is a smoked, dried, ripe jalapeno chilli pepper used for seasoning. It is a chilli used primarily in Mexican and Mexican inspired cuisines such as Tex-Mex and the southwestern United States dishes. It comes in different forms such as chipotle and adobo. Uh, so that is that, as they say. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, I have to say these, there was another dish next to this one. It was a chili con carne. So, I just fancied this to be honest, so yeah, I got it. Right, I'll bring you back in about another, well, 25 seconds. How's that for timing? It's done. So I'm going to decant it into this. We don't have a fancy, a fancy pot like that. So I'm just going to get it into here and we'll have a look at it. I did this for 35 minutes as per instruction so I'm going to get into these potatoes. Have a look see what all these are about. I'll just chop one open so you can see inside. To be honest, I know the guidelines, to be honest I like mine a lot more crispier than that. I'd probably put them in a lot longer but we're all different. Depends how you like them. You just tailor your meals to yourself to suit you, don't you? That's why it is a, a guide. So these have got paprika on them. Mm. Mm. Smoky paprika as well. Definitely getting that smoky sort of flavour through. They're not spicy. Um, the potato is cooked. It's nice and soft. They're all right, nothing special. They need a bit of salt for me, a bit more seasoning. Um, maybe a bit of oil drizzled over them as well before you put them in, sort of give them a bit more of a crisping. Um, yeah, they're all, they're okay, nothing, nothing special. Nothing special at all. Um, mm, nice and fluffy inside. Mm. You, 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 you know, I'd pimp them up, that's what I would do personally. I know you don't, you're not supposed to, but maybe when they're dipped in the sauce, and that sauce gets on them, it'd be different. So let's try this chicken. There it is, I mean, that's for me with one person, isn't it? It is 800 grams. I'll bring you down anyway, I'm just showing you. I'll bring you down, you can have a look. Because you need to have a look, see what you're getting, don't you? So you get one bit there, two bits, another bit, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. You get about nine bits of chicken, and you get ten wedges. So, so there may be there may be sort of ten bits of chicken. So it's maybe five and four in 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 this one, and and five wedges each, which is just basically like a starter, isn't it? It doesn't actually say main or starter on the box. Mm. There's them pig 
drop in here. Piccolo, Piccolo Peppers, Piccio, I think. Ah, I'm sure you'll let me know how it's pronounced. Mmm, it's tomatoey, sweet, smoky. It's well seasoned, that one. There's no, there's no sort of heat in there at all. Um, the spice is very, very minimum, but the flavours are tasty. I do like it. Um, I will, I'm going to get a potato now and cut it up and drop it in there and have a bit of chicken and potato. There's a bit of, bit of potato and there's, you've got your corn in there as well, so yeah, it's quite healthy, I think. Now let's have a look, fat 15.3 grams per half a pack, saturates 4.3 grams. Salt per half a pack, 1.72 grams. Mm. It's a very mild dish. Um, I'd be tempted to stick a few chilies in there, but that's just me. But it is, it's okay, it's nothing... It's not it's not jumping out on me going, wow, this is really tasty. It's just uh, it's just average for me, being honest. Four ninety nine. And then potatoes. Mm, that was a bit hard, that bit. Personally, I would put them in longer, the potatoes, definitely. 45 minutes, I would go for. Instead of 35. Because there's some big big spuds there. That was a little bit hard in the middle, that bit. It's, it's okay for me. It's, it's nothing special. Nothing special. I would be tempted to, like I say, pimp it up a bit. Um, and I probably wouldn't buy it again. And it's probably a 7 out of 10. So, yeah, that, that's uh, my verdict. <laughs> but we're all different, aren't we? We are all different. We all have different tastes. At least it's showing you the dish. It isn't you, but it's showing you what you get for your money. It's irrelevant what I think of it, really, because we're all different, aren't we? I get that in the comments a, a lot, like, but I, get, I do get a lot of positive comments saying, you've got tastes like me, um, and I've been buying the food that you've been buying, and I'm, I agree with you. There's only maybe one or two dishes that I've disagreed. I get that a lot, so, yeah, so I think, yeah, that's good, good positive comments. I do like them, I really do. Give it a whirl, see what you think. It's up to you at the end of the day, isn't it? So take care, thanks for watching, do appreciate it. All the best, have a good bank holiday weekend. Take care, all the best, I'll catch you on the next one.